In the complex web of global geopolitics, the tension between Iran and Israel stands out as a particularly volatile thread. The roots of this tension can be traced back to the mid-20th century, when the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East was transformed by the establishment of the State of Israel and the subsequent displacement of Palestinians. Iran, initially a supportive ally of Israel under the Shah's monarchy, underwent a seismic shift in its foreign policy following the Islamic Revolution of 1979. This revolution marked the beginning of a new era in Iran, one dominated by an Islamic theocratic regime that viewed Israel as an illegitimate entity. Conversely, Israel, a secular democracy, saw in the new Iran a threatening radical force that could destabilize the region. This ideological divide, coupled with geopolitical ambitions, has since fueled a bitter feud between the two nations. The eight-year-long Iran-Iraq war, which broke out in 1980, further complicated matters. During this conflict, Israel, despite its public stance, discreetly supported Iran with arms and ammunition, viewing Saddam Hussein's Iraq as the bigger threat. This support, however, did little to improve relations between Iran and Israel. Instead, it deepened the mistrust and animosity, as Iran continued to perceive Israel as a hostile entity aligned with its adversaries. Fast forward to the present day, and the tension between Iran and Israel has evolved into a multifaceted struggle, encompassing nuclear concerns, proxy conflicts, and a battle for regional supremacy. These complexities make their relationship not just a bilateral issue, but a matter of global concern. The potential for escalation and the catastrophic consequences it could unleash on the world stage cannot be understated. This deep-seated tension sets the stage for a potential global crisis. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the Iran-Israel conflict, we must remember that understanding these dynamics is key to navigating the path to peace and preventing the countdown to chaos. The Iran-Israel conflict is rooted in a mix of historical, religious, and ideological differences. This tangle of divergent beliefs and opposing interpretations of history has been a constant backdrop to the tensions that exist between the two nations. On the religious front, Iran, as a predominantly Shia Muslim country, and Israel, a predominantly Jewish state, have vastly different religious beliefs and customs. Yet it's not just about religious differences. It's about how these religious identities intertwine with politics and governance, shaping each country's worldview and foreign policy. The ideological differences run deep too. Iran's Islamic Revolution in 1979 marked a significant shift in the country's political landscape, leading to the establishment of a theocratic regime. This change brought a sharp turn in Iran's stance towards Israel, with the new leadership vehemently opposing Zionism and questioning Israel's right to exist. Israel, on the other hand, was founded on the ideology of Zionism, a movement advocating for the establishment of a Jewish state in what is now Israel. The country views itself as a democratic haven in a volatile region, and sees Iran's anti-Zionist stance as a direct threat to its existence. The issue of Palestine further complicates their relations. Iran supports the Palestinian cause and has been a vocal critic of Israeli policies in the occupied territories. Israel, however, views Iran's support for Palestine, particularly militant groups like Hamas, as a security threat. These historical, religious, and ideological differences have had a profound impact on their diplomatic relations and past conflicts. Iran does not recognize Israel as a state, and Israel views Iran's nuclear ambitions and support for anti-Israel militant groups with grave concern. In essence, it's not just about differing religious beliefs or political ideologies, it's about how these differences manifest in policies, alliances, and conflicts. It's about the narratives each country has built around its identity, its rights, and its role in the region. These deeply ingrained differences form the backdrop against which their ongoing conflict unfolds. Iran's nuclear ambitions and involvement in regional proxy wars have further stoked tensions with Israel. Let's delve into this a bit further. Iran's nuclear program, which began in the late 20th century, has long been a point of contention. While Iran asserts that its program is solely for peaceful purposes such as energy production, Israel and much of the international community remain skeptical, given the potential for weaponization. This skepticism led to the creation of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, in 2015. This international agreement between Iran, the US, the UK, France, 
Germany, Russia, and China, was designed to curb Iran's nuclear program and increase transparency. However, the effectiveness and longevity of the JCPOA have been challenged, particularly since the United States withdrew from the agreement in 2018, causing further instability in the region. Beyond the nuclear issue, Iran and Israel are deeply entangled in several proxy conflicts throughout the Middle East. These conflicts often involve Iran-backed groups such as Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza, which Israel sees as significant threats to its security. For instance, Iran's support for Hezbollah, a group that has fought numerous wars against Israel, is a significant factor in their strained relationship. In Syria, Iran's support for the Assad regime, coupled with Israeli airstrikes against Iranian targets, have further inflamed tensions. These proxy conflicts serve to extend the geopolitical influence of both nations, but they also risk sparking a wider conflict that could engulf the region. In Gaza, the Iran-backed Hamas continues to pose a significant challenge to Israel, leading to periodic outbreaks of violence. The complex interplay of these proxy wars adds another dimension to the already fraught relationship between Israel and Iran. These developments, Iran's nuclear program, and its involvement in regional proxy wars, add another layer of complexity to the Iran-Israel conflict. They serve to increase the stakes, making the path to resolution even more challenging, and the potential consequences of failure even more catastrophic. A full-scale Iran-Israel conflict could have devastating consequences, and numerous potential triggers could set it off. Let's delve into some of these potential catalysts. A major terrorist attack, a breakdown in diplomatic negotiations, or a provocative military action could all serve as a spark for escalation. Imagine this. A major terrorist attack, possibly linked to militant groups like Hezbollah or Hamas, hits a high-profile target. The implications could be immediate and severe. Retaliatory strikes could quickly spiral out of control, leading to a full-scale war. Or consider a breakdown in diplomatic negotiations especially surrounding Iran's nuclear program. The collapse of dialogue could lead to a renewed arms race and a heightened state of alert, making any minor incident a potential trigger for conflict. And let's not forget about provocative military actions. A preemptive strike, an accidental clash, or even a misinterpreted military exercise could easily ignite a powder keg of tensions. Now what would be the fallout of such a conflict? On a humanitarian level the consequences could be dire. Civilian casualties could be immense and the displacement of people could lead to a major humanitarian crisis. Infrastructure could be destroyed, affecting access to essential services like healthcare, clean water, and electricity. Regionally, the ripple effects would be felt far and wide. Neighboring countries could be drawn into the conflict, exacerbating existing tensions and potentially destabilizing the entire Middle East. Globally, the implications are just as grave. Oil markets could be severely disrupted, leading to spikes in energy prices worldwide. This could trigger economic turmoil on a global scale. Moreover, the conflict could strain international alliances and security structures, potentially leading to a broader global conflict. The potential for catastrophe underscores the urgent need for diplomatic intervention. It's a stark reminder of the importance of dialogue, negotiation, and conflict resolution in preventing such a disastrous scenario from becoming a reality. Despite the grim outlook, diplomatic efforts offer a glimmer of hope for preventing a full-scale conflict. Over the years, numerous attempts have been made to broker peace and stability in the region. International mediators, including the United Nations, the European Union, and individual nations, have all tried to ease the tensions between these two key players in the Middle East. Yet, the road to peace is often fraught with obstacles. Diplomatic efforts have been met with varying degrees of success, from short-lived ceasefires to more enduring agreements like the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. But the complexities of Iran-Israel relations, deeply rooted in historical, religious, and ideological differences, make the task of mediation a daunting one. However, it's important to remember that diplomacy is not a one-time event, but rather a process. It involves constant negotiation, compromise, and above all, patience. And while the results may not always be immediate, the potential for long-lasting peace makes it a worthwhile endeavor. Looking ahead, the future of Iran-Israel relations is uncertain. A number of factors could influence the trajectory of this conflict. Leadership changes, for instance, could bring about shifts in policy and stance. External interventions, whether diplomatic or military, could also play a significant role. On one hand, we could see a continuation of the status quo, 
with sporadic bouts of violence and ongoing proxy conflicts. On the other hand, there's the chilling possibility of a full-scale war, a scenario that could have devastating implications not just for the region, but for the entire world. But let's not lose sight of the third, and arguably the most desirable outcome, de-escalation. Through dialogue, diplomacy, and conflict resolution, there's still a chance for peace. It may seem like a distant dream, but as history has shown us, even the most entrenched conflicts can be resolved. The future of Iran-Israel relations hangs in the balance, and the stakes could not be higher. In the ever-evolving landscape of the Iran-Israel conflict, recent events have further escalated the tensions. Just a few months ago, Israel intercepted a shipment of Iranian-made bombs intended for Hezbollah, a militant group backed by Iran. This incident has not only increased the animosity between the two nations, but has also raised alarm bells in the international community. The international response to this event was swift. The United Nations Security Council condemned these actions, calling for strict adherence to international law and respect for national sovereignty. The European Union, the United States, and other nations echoed this sentiment, urging both parties to exercise restraint and avoid any actions that could further escalate the conflict. The impact of these incidents on the ongoing conflict is significant. It has not only exacerbated the existing tensions, but has also underscored the urgency of the situation. It stands as a stark reminder that the conflict is far from over, and that the stakes are higher than ever. These recent events have brought the Iran-Israel conflict into sharp focus, highlighting the urgent need for resolution. It underscores the importance of diplomatic efforts and the role of the international community in facilitating dialogue and promoting peace. The path to de-escalation is a difficult one, fraught with challenges. But as we've seen, the alternative, a full-scale war, is a far more devastating prospect one that could have catastrophic implications for the region and the world at large. As we move forward, it's crucial to keep a close eye on these developments. They not only shape the trajectory of the Iran-Israel conflict, but also influence the broader dynamics of the Middle East and the world.